Uh, yo, what's up guys? This is uh, just a quick tutorial from RUKs on how to activate all these games. So let's get right to it. Uh, please excuse the sound quality, my microphone is not very good, but I believe it is enough for this. So please just uh, disregard this information, I will, I will update it after we are done. So the first thing you need is a VPN, so we are using we are using the soft adder application with a VPN gate plugin which will let you connect to any public VPN there are a lot of them so you can choose so I will include all the links to this in the description so you don't have to worry about finding it or something uh, now I already have this uh, I already have this downloaded so now it's just one minute we can wait but I think I can find it faster. VPN gate. Yep, I got it. Okay, so uh, after you have downloaded this, you just uh, you just want to extract it somewhere. It uh, it doesn't really matter where. It's gonna take a while. All right, let's just create a new folder and paste those files here. So then you can just install the application. Uh, it's a freeware application, there's no adware or anything in it, so it is safe to use. Yeah, as you can see, there's nothing like it doesn't trick you into installing any bloatware or something. So it's pretty safe to use. Okay, let's let's let it finish. Okay, now you can just start the soft adder manager and as you can see, uh, if you download just just the soft adder, you won't have this uh, VPN gate public uh, relay service which which you really need because um, if you don't have it, you have to search for the VPN collections manually and uh, that's really nothing you want to do. So as you can see, there are a lot of servers to choose from. So in order to activate the game, it's pretty straightforward. You just uh, open the G2A, or just you can uh, you can buy any game I have on the subreddit. Yeah, just like this, and you can buy it. It doesn't really matter which one. Okay, I'm just gonna buy some uh, some cheap one because I just want to demonstrate. Okay, uh, let's try this one for example. Okay. Let's buy it now. Let's turn the G2A shield off. Oh, you can leave it on, but um, I don't really need it. Or want it, to be precise. Okay, let's pay with G2A pay. And let's pay with my wallet. Uh, let's turn the G2A shield off again. If you don't do this, you'll, they'll still charge you for it, so... Uh, be careful. Okay, now just let's wait for the key. It shouldn't take long. Okay, there it is. And select the street signs. Just a verification. Okay, now uh, we have received a gift. Okay, let's get my authenticator, one moment. Uh, now the, auto the activation uh, via gift or uh, via directly via Steam is pretty similar. But as you can see, uh, as you can see, it says that we can't add. Uh, can I translate it for you? No, we can't. Okay, it just says that you uh, you can't add this game because you're not in Russia, right? That's what the VPN is for. Yep, as you can see directly. Yeah, there we have it in English.
Uh, let's check my inventory. Yeah, and as you can see it's still here with the warning that it can be only activated in Russia and blah blah blah. So what you're gonna do is... Uh, you can turn off Steam first. What you're gonna do is you want to connect to a Russian VPN. So let's just search Russian Federation. Uh, now just choose the one with the best ping or the best line speed. Like obviously don't choose the one that has zero. Okay, so I'm just gonna choose hit this one. Just press OK and let it connect. Yep, there we go. Now we can just launch Steam again. Let's just onto my password. And the uh, Steam Guard code again. There we go. Uh, now we're effectively effectively on a Russian VPN. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't matter uh, what what country you have in your Steam profile. I like, for example, have Cuba here, and it doesn't really matter. My point is, so uh, you don't you don't have to have a uh, Russian Federation there. Okay, so now let's see if we can add it to my library, since we're on a Russian VPN, and there we go. Uh, now, uh, some games can be played even without a VPN, like there just needs to be added to your account and then you can play them via VPN, but some don't. So it's, uh, it's really up to you to test the games, I really can't test them all, but uh, it's especially useful for uh, single player games because uh, obviously you don't want to be connected to a Russian VPN all the time you're playing for example Counter-Strike, right? So let's see, if I turn off the VPN let's just disconnect and if I try to install the game it should either give me okay, it didn't give me an error so it looks like it works even even uh, without the VPN but let's just restart Steam to be sure Okay, I'm Steam Guard again. One moment. Yep, uh, there you can see, right? You can't, uh, you can't even install the game if you're not on a VPN. So what you're gonna do? Yep, what you're gonna do is just connect to the VPN temporarily. Uh, I think you'll have to restart Steam again. Okay. Uh, every time you change the VPN, it's better to restart Steam. But sometimes it just works. Uh, it just works without without a change. And now you can just install the game. Uh, if it still says uh, it, you can't install it when you're connected to the VPN, just restore Steam and it should work. So you can just launch the you know, download. Let's wait a bit so it can allocate the files. And now we can disconnect from the VPN and we can let it download on our home connection which is obviously faster uh, if you i mean you can download it via a vpn but it would be really slow and truly really unreliable just disconnect from the vpn as you can see it it's not well, it's not like doing anything you know it doesn't disconnect you from the steam or something also well, there you go that's how we install the game Alright, now just a quick cut, uh, once the game is downloaded You have to connect to the VPN oh.
Once the game is downloaded, you just connect to the VPN, relaunch Steam. can just uh, disconnect from the VPN and play as Greetings, O Great Temujin, immortal emperor of the mighty Mongol Empire. Your fists shatter the walls of cities and your can be a hassle for some people if you launch the game often. I just ignore this, this is just saying that I have disconnected from the VPN. Now connecting to the VPN every time can be a hassle for some people, but uh, you have to take in account that uh, you're basically getting the newest game for really really cheap prices for example the cd deus ex mankind divided it is only 14 euros the russian version instead of the usual 33 so it's like a 50 percent discount for your games and uh, every game that you buy region locked gets unlocked after three months so it's up to you if it's worth it, but I'm using the Russian keys for a really long time and I have never never been banned, never had any problems with it, so enjoy and thanks for watching the video. Bye bye.